Here we go, we're on page five in your packet, section 4.2 notes. Organizing the periodic table. In 1869, only 63 elements had been discovered. Nowadays, there's 118. Back then, only 63. Dmitry Mendeleo was from the country of Russia. He was a Russian scientist. And he first arranged a chart in order of increasing atomic mass. Nowadays, it's increasing atomic number. Back then, atomic mass. On his chart, there were three blank spaces, three gaps in his chart. And based on these three gaps, he predicted the exact properties of elements not yet discovered. So three elements had not yet been discovered. He knew exactly how they'd look. He predicted the properties exactly how they'd be. And 16 years later, those three elements, scandium, gallium, and germanium, were discovered. And guess what? He was right on. He was exactly correct in how they would look. There's a statue of Mendeleev in St. Petersburg, Russia. There's his rough draft. Okay, the modern periodic table. Not much has changed since Mendeleev's time. The table is now arranged by increasing atomic number or proton number. And the word periodic means in a regular repeating pattern. Regular repeating pattern. Mr. Wien tells element jokes periodically. Regular repeating pattern. The properties of element can be predicted by its location on the chart. You can tell a lot about an element based on location on the chart. And a chart is organized in something called periods and groups. Periods and groups. Now, please turn to the back of page six. We're gonna move on here. Okay, back of page six, we're gonna talk about periods Okay, periods. These are the horizontal rows on the periodic table, the horizontal rows. And elements in the same period have the same number of electron shells. So when we talk about periods, we're talking about the horizontal rows that go across. So there's seven periods. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So the rows going across. So period one goes across the horizontal rows and everything in period one has one electron shell all the way down to seven francium all the way across all have seven electron levels or shells so is it a period now let's do some work with the periods here okay we're going to list the period of the four elements on your chart uh, gold AU AU gold FE iron Krypton, oh, I hate that stuff. Krypton and SN tin. So I want you to find the period, the period of these. Okay, let me move this out of the way here. Kind of in the way, I guess. Okay, so for gold, you can see gold, the period is six because there's gold and it's in row six. Okay, row six. Uh, iron is period four. Again, with iron, you can see that it's period four here. It goes across to iron, period four, or four electron shells. Krypton is in period four as well. And then tin is in period five. So it's pretty easy to find a period. You just have to find the row, and it's you have a one in seven chance. You just look on the chart and find the proper period. Again, periods are the horizontal rows going across. Now, the other item is something called a group. In a group, these are the vertical columns. There's 18 vertical columns across the top. Okay, the vertical columns. So, and they're also called families. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way over to 18. So, these are the, oops, these are the 18 groups or families and everything within a group has very similar properties. Okay, group one all act very similar. That's what we call them families. All the way over to group 18, 18, the, the noble gases all behave very similarly. So you can tell a lot by an element based on its group. Okay, moving on. 
Now we're going to find the group. So for the first one, we're going to change PA to NA. So go ahead and change it to NA on your chart. And it's easy to find. You're just going to find the element. There's NA. HG, that's, help you here, that's mercury. That's found right there. Xenon, or xenon, is found there. And F, fluorine, is found up here. So look across the top, and you can easily find the group number, or family number, as it's sometimes called. So let's check our answers here. Check our answers up. For NA, it's period one. I'm sorry, family one. HG, it's group or family 12. Xenon is family 18, and fluorine is family 17. So it's really easy to, as long as you have a chart, really easy to find the, the group or family number. Okay, quick review. We talked about periods. Okay, periods are the seven horizontal rows going across. They tell you how many electron shells are in each one. And then the group or family, those are the 18 columns going across, and they tell you the properties of the element, and elements in the same family have very similar properties. We also talked about how Mendeleev first arranged a chart by increasing atomic mass, and nowadays you can see the charts by increasing atomic number, starting with hydrogen number one, all the way down to element 118, unanoctium. Well, that's it for Screencast 3, and I thank you for listening.